Yo, what's up guys? Um, I am gonna share something with you guys and that's uh, how we have set up our defense and this is actually something I needed to do for myself to check out the defense of my um, guild members and if I think uh, what they're doing is correct uh, but I thought let's make a video about it because everyone can learn from this and it's not really that it matters if people know because I think you can actually find out beforehand uh, when you battle someone uh, what their defense is so it's not gonna matter okay level Nito one of the top members of my guild right now he's running Eamon Darian Perma uh, I think this is a pretty decent setup because Eamon and, and Darian will will obviously benefit from the, the light attribute and it will be a good amount of healing around this they will be rather slow, so this team might be able to get picked off by speed teams. But then again, um, it is pretty tanky, so maybe speed teams are not that likely. I guess Perma is not the most tanky unit here, but uh, Darien will make Perma kind of safe. The second defense is really horrible to fight against. Like you need a lot of damage to to face this down because you have the shield, the immunity and the revive and the attack break i think this is one of the defense people will not like to fight at all so i think this is a good tactic here this is really a tactic where there's a, a potential kill i do might want to consider to get this guy more speed like somewhat that gives this team more speed because aemon obviously is a good unit but i'm not sure if it's going to be that great here maybe uh, something with speed buff or something you know I i'm not sure yet but i think uh, overall good setup the second kuata uh, we got uh, the speed Barretta, uh belladion and arnold and then a cases uh konamiya can i check what level he is yeah 40. okay and arian um first team i think is pretty nice it's one, it's a decent amount of uh, speed on there, not because of the speed leader, but because of Belladon gets the attack gates as well. And then Arnold is definitely uh, one of the kill potentials here. Uh, this I like this setup, uh, even though Beretta normally is not the best uh, leader, but it's definitely a good unit because uh, Beretta is a unit that is, a, how to say that? It's just a good unit overall, uh, but in 4v4 it's not that great, but in 3v3 it actually is not the worst uh, leader to have besides that it's a unit that you don't miss in offense second defense uh, we got a cases here because I guess he had no real great leader besides the cases right now and the case does make sure that her resistance is really top-notch and this is just a stall tactic as well uh, big time uh, support Darien does have a kill potential here, but it's not that big because both cases and economy are not going to do too much damage. But it's a it's a pretty good it's a pretty good stall tactic, and I think that is in that's not a bad thing. I'm not so sure how good it's going to be to stall at all, so that's maybe something to take note. Um, here we got something interesting. The first tactic is basically all out attack power. Like it's it's just crazy on the attack. Like speed up, uh, boost up, and just throw this amputation magic. This team is uh, based around speed, but no speed later. But that's because otherwise you would lose. Uh, for example, Bernard, because it's hard. Like you want the buff and you want the speed, so it's it's quite hard. So I think this is pretty decent. It's also pretty dangerous to face off. Like for example, if you have some fire units to put against this, you have a good chance to to get yourself the win. But if you get the first turn, you don't get the first turn, and he does, he could like maybe take two die units of you down, and then it's going to be pretty hard to win. Uh, but if you win, that's fine. But then you get the second defense, which is really tanky and really just hard to kill. Like immunity. Extortion and a big heal, they all can heal, defense break. I like this second round a lot. The first round, 
I think people can counter that uh, relatively easy, but you could underestimate something and then you just lose, and that's pretty nice. And then we got Alien. Uh, ooh, these are some sexy defenses. We got the Monkey King here with Chloe and uh, what is it called? I want to say Praha, but I'm not sure if it's the Water Oracle. I don't know what the name is. I don't know why I don't know that, but uh, this is a really tanky setup, but with a defense break on the Monkey King, so it could potentially get a kill. Um, I like the setup. And then the second setup I also like, because Tyrone is probably going to be very fast, um, and Tyrone is, well, is going to be uh, a pretty tough time like you could you could take something that's very fast against this team but you probably won't kill both units because of the damn Darien <laughs> so I think this is pretty nice you get this the the hillstorm you get the ogre go that have some good control and then Darien for the defense rank I like these two setups they're not too bad now we come at me we well, my first defense I actually think is pretty nice. Got the immunity plus the attack gates boost. Darien for the defense break and then the Iona for the revive and obviously a heal. Both Darien and Iona do decent damage, so I think it's pretty nice. Uh, the second defense I'm not so sure about. I just put it in uh, to have something there. The reason why I put in the case is... Well, I also had the problem that I don't really have a better leader. I thought maybe I could do Jameer, but then again, Eamon doesn't really get anything from having a reset. So it's not really the best. So that's why I went with the cases. And yeah, I thought maybe like I could put in my... Uh, Phoenix, but then again, my Phoenix is not really that strong. It's relatively slow, so I didn't see too much of of a gain there. I'm kind of I'm I'm hoping that obviously we can use our Belladion in offense as well, because I definitely need this unit. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit. Of discussion there I could definitely replace one of their units uh, but I'm not so sure about my second round so if you have any tips let me know right now you will see the first monsters down here so those are the monsters I got to pick I got a few support monsters, but I'd rather put a six star team in there so yeah those are my options right now um, then we got Squigs. I think he has no defense right now. So he needs to put that in. We got No Domi. Uh, yeah, No Domi has a good defense on the the second round I'd really like. The first one I do like. Uh, it would be just so cool if there was a Perma somewhere along the lines. But I understand that's pretty hard. But it's a good... I think it's a pretty decent uh, setup as well. I like these two setups. So I got got to hand it to him that he has a good setup there. Ooh, we got something pretty nice here. We got finesse. This team is pretty horrible to face. We got the revive. We got you have everything here. It's a fast team. It's a, it has immunity. It has big hits. It has defense rig. It has revive. It's all fire, so that's counterable. But still. I think it would even do pretty decent against uh, un water units. And the second round is just like uh, good luck killing us. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. Then we got arcs. Again, the light defense. And then uh, this is actually really similar to me. I was thinking maybe Rama goes on my uh, defense. There is not bad. I'm not sure yet, but uh, it could it could work. So yeah, that's interesting to say uh, the least. 
Ice Lord. I'm not so sure about the Shimedi, but I guess you need a leader. But I would... Well, no, I would not switch to the... Right now, Shimedi is the only one that can kill something in this setup. But I think this team will be picked off relatively easy. The second team is pretty pretty hard to kill. Uh, they're all really good. And they all have self sustain So that's not bad. And the case has high resist. Um, you don't have a defense yet. Learn Doctor. This is also not a bad thing to do. Uh, the thing is, it's hard to get a kill potential on the defense uh, for two defenses within three months. It's because you kind of have to pick something with a leader, and then you have two more spots, so you have to think about what you want to do. We got uh, Darian. So Darian on his own is always pretty strong and could take down a unit. But the case and the Archangel are not going to do too much damage. So it's not bad, it's just that it's always hard to do. Amazing defense. Oh. The second round is consisting of um, a control team, and I like that. They, I guess, I'm not even sure, but I guess they all went on the spare, because that's pretty nice. So that's, uh, I actually agree with that. Uh, then we got Brian. Okay. Now, okay, I got a question here. Is it? I understand what you did here, but uh, wouldn't it be smarter to pair Rina up together with your Chow? So you could increase the defense of your Rina and Chow together and just make a really annoying team. Like, for example, what you could do um, is maybe. I don't know exactly what monsters you have right now, but maybe you could <sighs> maybe you could put in uh, Arena and Chow together, and then have a leader, a different leader on the round one. Uh, it could also be that you have put in Arena and stuff like that because of you're scared to have not enough monsters for offense, and we don't know how it's gonna work exactly. So I understand. But uh, yeah, it's something that I would think about. Okay, you don't have a defense yet. Delfoy, Arnold, Eamon. I like Katrina really well. Like it, she's just a great unit. I would love to see her paired up with a Chloe, but I understand. Uh, I I don't know if you have a Chloe to start off with, and if you do, it would be epic to replace the silver for the for Chloe but I they're not bad the defense is definitely not Joe Kazoo we got Drake yeah he actually told me about this defense so I know yeah it's not bad not at all this is pretty good on the like you gotta consider there are only three units attacking you so there's a lot less damage so some of these defenses will be hard to take down now we got near ground. Um, I don't know why you put this one in near ground. Uh, I guess you just want to have a defense, but and let me just think about that because I know that uh, he knows that as well. If he looks at it, the Phoenix doesn't give a leader skill in arena, so that is something. That you would say, Ooh. you would definitely need to put in Bernard as leader, at least then you give some attack power to Bernard instead of your uh, Phoenix. I like your first defense quite a lot, but your second defense, uh, I understand the, the strategy here because it's speed up, defense break, and he one shots one something. But the, put Bernard at least in because then at least Bernard gains something. It's not a big deal, but. Uh, Something to look into. Then we got newbie. Again, uh, Perma doesn't give anything, uh, but I understand his defense because he had no leader. 
that's basically what it is he had no leader there and it wasn't his plan his plan was to have to soon Darien and, and Perma together because they just really good together but just skip the leader skill so I think that's fine the second defense I don't understand because that's n I don't really understand what's going on here I guess you have ruined them all for despair that would make the most sense at least but it's not gonna most likely it's not gonna kill anything so I'm, I would consider rechecking this defense and maybe you could check it out if you could do something different maybe it's just you come out and then this is still the best but I don't think it's the best okay we got again this is a no leader skill but that's fine because I understand what he did there and this is his bomb team I like the second I like these two defenses one you need to get through a really tanky defense and then after you did that you need to get through a bomb team so you have to really consider how you're gonna face that off then we have DX mage uh, really nice setup again I like both of them because this is a speed team and this is a, a defensive team I like that not too much to add on that uh, no defense here Gothic Um, hmm. Both defenses look pretty decent. Like I, that's the thing, guy. When I look at the defense, I just look if there is a plan involved, and if there is a decent plan that I agree on, then I don't, I won't really commentate on it. Uh, yeah, I understand this plan, but this one I don't think is gonna work. I think this speed team will be relatively easy to get down and also uh, this team you can take down with a tanky team and this team you can take down with a speed team and that that being said is that it's kind of better that people have to take down the first team with something like tanky teams and then the second team as well because they don't have that many units I don't know I mean it could work but I don't think it's gonna work but if you get the speed lead then it definitely works so I don't think it's a bad team but I just think uh, people would bring like a Chloe and a Darian and something else and take this team off and against this they will take uh, something with a Lucian and a Bernard and something else some like a Megan or something and then just speed off and then just get a kill or something but uh okay, can she has no defense yet? Neither do you. There we go. The bomb team, I like it. This these are pretty nice defense. The bomb team, you need to have a speed team to beat it, or immunity. But if you're not faster, you lose. Then you get into the second round, and you have like a massive healing uh, fight you have to get through, and that's hard. Uh, then we got your reds. We got the speed team over here, and this team I don't really understand. Like, I don't know how this unit is run, but if I'm correct, it's an yeah, it's an HP unit. I don't think this is gonna work. Uh, I would replace a cases for something that actually can do some damage, or actually pose a threat. That's uh, my my idea but obviously it's just my opinion guys so don't worry too much it's all a try trial and error I like this team yeah I like both so it's all trail and error so that's something you have to take note of I like this as well I uh, would yeah I'm, 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 I'm I think it's okay yeah I like this okay I well right now I'm still feeling that my second team is kinda bad I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it I think I wanna replace Amon or Belladion but but I know Belladion is really good guys uh, the thing is I kinda wanna make sure that I can use him the first or the second round I think actually what I'm gonna do is 
re-switch or something. Just something that I can switch off. Uh, what is my second best wind unit? If he get defense break, it's over. Let me just check my resistance on the on the copper. Because if I, yeah, I would not get him to 100% resistant. Oh wait, lol, it's the wrong unit. Okay, I would definitely get him to 100% resistance. Because I I feel like um, what I could do. Oh, I need to start arena. What I could do is something like this. Uh, the cases, he's run on the spare uh, copper. And then either Amon or Belladion. For example, Amon. I think Belladion is here better here because of the defense break. And then the second team, I would put Draco, Darian, and Iona. Because it's now, it's really hard to get a, a stu or defense break on Copper because of his uh, high resist. He has over 100% resist. And in case this has a shield, I'm not sure if this works. I could also decide to get with, go with uh, Ramagos, for example. Uh, Ramagos is just a decent, I think for 3v3 it's not even the worst unit ever. Because he, if you try to kill him and you cannot, then he... I think Ramagos might actually be better. But then I would like Amon. Because Amon uh, heals over time. And you don't... I don't really need a defense break on this setup. I'll try it like this for now. I, I, it's still 17 hours I can think about it. So it's definitely not something I have to think about right now. Uh... If this is the final decision this goes for all my members uh, so I hope some of the members will see the video and maybe uh, think about it and if they're they really make the correct choice some of them I, I really in, instantly agreed and some of them I was uh, I was doubting if it's gonna be useful to put it like that but for people that like for my guild members if you watch this uh, like if you have anything to say about my own defense or someone else defense just tell them in the line chat like hey man you have this in defense maybe you should try out this and that because uh, it's it's a team effort guys so we need to make sure that we can do the best with what, with what we have uh, that was it just a showcase on the defense of the guild of black east legion um, it's not gonna matter for any for my at least in my case, it's not going to matter that anyone would know what we have on defense because you're going to face it anyway. Like you, you fight us. If you fight us, you'll just face us at random to start off with, and you still have no clue what the runes are and those make the units. It's just the setup that I showed you guys, so it's not going to be like information that is going to be super useful if you fight us, but it's going to be super useful. For everyone to see what kind of defensive people are gonna use. Uh, so we just I just showed you an example of what decisions we made in the defense. So uh, hope you guys learned something from it. And uh, if you got anything to add, uh, like if you think like oh you could try that, any idea is good because we just want input. So let us know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you liked it, please rate and comment and subscribe. I need to say that more often. I always forget. See ya.